Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are here with day, um, I think it's day 88 and I am doing owls and feathers. Let me see. So owls, yes, I'm not doing feathers, um, the owls have feathers. So um, I just printed up some owls and I've got quite a few, oh, they're quite big aren't they? Um, and then I've got some owls here in the um, owls and mushroom. I think it was like a my I did a, a woodlands kit. So there's some lovely owls um, in monotones here that I thought were nice as well. And some other pretty things that can go with the owls. And I've been procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, I've been procrastinating all day about what to do. And um, and and it, I I woke up at five thirty and I was all excited because you know when you wake up at five thirty you think all the possibilities of things you can get done and I did get a lot done until nine thirty and then I started thinking about this and then I procrastinated and then I fell asleep so that's what happened because I didn't know what to do. So anyway, this piece of paper just fell into my hands. This was sent to me. This is from the, the paper studio. Um, and it was sent to me um, along with some other lovely papers. I thought I might, I've, you know, I've got all of these scrapbooking papers here. I just thought I might make pockets and, and tags and things with owls um, using, that looks a little, like it's going to be a little bit small. Um, using some of these scraps because I need to use them and it's a good good way to get rid of your, your bits and pieces that are overflowing um, yeah you could sew them into franken paper but some of them uh, they're smaller so then you'd be franking quite a lot doing that um, so and I've got quite a lot of that one So I think we'll just use up our scraps. Let's just pull some out and get cracking. We're going to get cracking on and get it done. Oh, that's pretty. Right. They're all Stamperia, all of them, except I don't know what that one is. That's that um, Northern European one. Uh, that's not Stamperia. I don't know what that one is. Um, it's a Ledger one. And then my, and I don't think I pulled out any Tim Holtzies. So, okay, so like this is already perfect for a tag or a pocket. So we're just going to get on with it, um, rip up papers and glue them down and stick on owls. That's what's going to happen. So we're going, we're, we're, we're um, stash busting. I'm just going to grab my glue books over here. Okay, getting organised. Only 59 cents. That's cheap. It'll be a euro here. Because those sorts of things like papers and stuff are quite expensive here. They're not cheap. Well, no, they're like, you know, um, I don't know what they cost in America really, but that said 59 cents. But um, like Stamperia papers are about a euro, sometimes more, depending on where you buy it. So, um, unless you buy the full full on pad. So, I think I'm going to put a colourful owl on this one. Just love those owls. Now, I did not make another kit, okay, um, for these. I think that, you know, these are just from places like um, the Biodiversity Library. Um find plenty of these sorts of things on the internet I don't think I'm going to fussy cut it I'm going to fuss, I'm going to tear it I should take those out of oh I haven't shown you that either I need to show you that um, that was from Marguerite Miller I bought her she has this little um, book called one stamp at a time and it's just a lovely collection I don't know whether she self published it or anything like that but it's a lovely collection of um, 
her collaging. I'm not wanting that color. I think I like this color more. This one I might fussy cut. Sorry, guys. Keep changing my mind. Lulu, do, do you know what time we about what time we're supposed to pick you up? Would you mind asking? Because we need to organise, um, you know, our dinner as well. Mm -hmm. And I bet you want us to pick us pick you up right in the middle of dinner. No, you'll probably eat earlier. No, I mean, like, we're not finished eating at 7.30. You don't know that. You might go there. You might be done shopping and you'll go there at 6, 6.30. Hmm. So ask the girls what their thoughts are so that we can organise ourselves. So Lily's going to the shopping centre today with her friend. She's going to do some shopping. She's earned some money. She's been... um keeping my greys at bay and um, and done a very good job. So I paid her as my hairdresser. Oh, that's better. She's my hairdresser, aren't you, Lulu? Yeah. And she really, you enjoy it or do you just pretend you enjoy it? I find it, I find it fun. She really enjoys I it? I like to dye like hair straight in the air. Don't take too long on your hair anyway, so. She likes doing the hair dyeing and, um, and I got at the Chinese shop for one euro. I bet it's smashing quality. <laughs> the container, the container with the brush, so that she can be professional and brush the the color on. I did a better job than the last time. You did. I think I've got a better color too than the last time. Yeah. Which is what what type do I use? The L'Oreal Excellence. It works very yeah. well. I don't know why you'd go to the hairdressers. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> well, I do need to because I'll have if I don't go to the hairdressers anymore, I'll have hair down to the ground. Unless and you then, cut it, and then, I no, I know, I know, I would never let you cut it. Um, I'd have hair down to the ground, and my mum would be very disapproving. She tells me your hair is too long for a woman of your old age. But you're not old. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm fifty. Not that old. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm going to have a label. What? Oh, the peaches are beautiful. So, um, so yes, Lulu is now, at the moment, my official hairdresser. I really don't feel like going to the hairdressers. I will go and get a cut. Um, it's much faster than going there. They take forever. And... They do a nicer job, obviously. They can do highlights and that sort of stuff. And that it's probably covers a bit more, but it covers all the bits that I can see. Anyway, the deal is, is if she um, if she straightens my hair as well, then she gets paid. So she's been paid quite a few times since lockdown. And, and, um, and so she's off shopping with her earnings. Oh, I do love owls. Nice size too. I thought they might come out small, but they didn't. Because I just did four to a page. Oh yeah, that's going to be lovely. I think that will be a tag. What does everybody think? A tag. So, show me, Lily. Um, yeah, just cut that. Yes, yes, that's just the um, the pip. It's just very ripe. So just cut the flesh around it off. Okay. You just cut the flesh off okay. and eat that. I'll put some of this on the back. Oh, I love that. It's so simple. But I would almost want to hoard it because I love the colours. So this is a very simple Simon Says video today. Uh, I'm just stash busting my scrapbooking paper. So I haven't done that for a while. And, and so that just builds up and it needs to be used. I must say it's very handy having printed... Um, tea dyed paper 
on hand because I do have some, actually I've got some fresh um, tea dyed paper that I made. Well, it's not fresh. <laughs> I, I actually made it a few, quite, probably a month ago. It's been sitting um, under the books, flattening for about a month because I forgot about it. And I just tidied it up. So <laughs> it's made its way into my craft room so I can use it. Yes, I like that. I'm so disappointed that I, I got sleepy and I had, a, I had to have a sleep because, well, I went to bed late. So, um, and then I, can't, I got up at 5.30 because I was just awake. And, um, and so then, yeah. Um, so then, um, Matt, and then I was sleepy at 9.30 after, I don't know. Now what's this one? Oh, isn't this lovely? This is that newish range of, um, of Stamperia papers. Now let me just get distracted for a second and I'll just show you the Marguerite Miller book. One stamp at a time, a collection of collage with, a collage art with postage stamps. And then that's a lovely little card that she puts in the front. Oh, we should make those. Those are those little library things. Because I can't get those here. I think I'm going to make them. We'll do that in a video. Oh, isn't this wonderful? I haven't even had a chance to really look at it properly. So everything's done with stamps. And Marguerite use, doesn't use um, printable things. She uses everything's original. Or out of magazines or vintage or antique or looks like a bit of scrapbooking paper there um yeah i'm so excited to buy it sarah had bought it and i had thought about buying it and then i forgot and then sarah's arrived and then she reminded me did you buy it yet and i said no i forgot and then so then i bought it and i'd like to support you know other people look at that i mean look at those stamps that marguerite has aren't they beautiful just lovely so marguerite miller there you all know Marguerite. Um, and then um, and then she sent, and I haven't even looked at them yet. Aren't they terrible? But she sent, oh, my wordy lordy, look at these beautiful stamps. She sent me all these beautiful stamps. So um, I need to sort those out into my stamp folder. Oh, cute old Australian one. I never see, I've never seen that one before. Oh, it might be a one pence. Australia with a platypus on it. Do you know what a platypus is called in Italian? Or Nintorinco. <laughs> it took me forever to learn that. Oh my goodness, I could not remember. I'm going to make this into a long tag. It's going to go that way. Yeah, I might trim it, might make it longer because that's that can be a pocket. That can be a pocket and that can be a tag. I love you, Cutter. Your, I'm not, you know, I think my mat needs a clean, my cutter needs a clean, my my sewing machine needs an oil. It's just like welcome to Rachel's world. Well, the thing about oiling my sewing machine is I need to go to the big supermarket, and I haven't been um, to buy oil because that's where I can get it. I think well, if they still have it, I don't know if they still have. Why am I using these big scissors? That makes life difficult. So, um, yeah, I quite often get uh, questions, and I know I address it quite often about the fussy cutting. Um, I just keep my scissors, I'm a lefty, so I keep my scissors to the left of the image and try not, I do snip off some of the image sometimes, but I try not to. I fussy cut that one. I had said I wasn't fussy cutting it, but then I decided I liked it more fussy cut. And I need to put a little bit of something else. Here's some actual tea dyed paper that's left over. Oh, what, what, that was a pathetic piece I tore off. Really pathetic. Um, patetico. I did close my window so there's no distracting noises. And I didn't want to cover that up because I like that. But there's quite a lot of greenery there. And I think I might put a bit of script. I just have my last sip of coffee. Script, script, script. I saw. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. This lovely old dictionary. Rip that. Just rip it. Ripped off too much. Rip that off and that off. And I might rip that off as well while we're ripping. Just rip it all off. 
Now, I'm short of things to say, talk about, guys, because I haven't um, been out for quite a few days. Just been in, working, getting things done. Working through my list. There's, I mean, there's always something that I don't get down on my list or by choice because I ignore it <laughs> or just simply because I put, I'm put i very ambitious and I put too much on my list and I, I just don't get through it all. Okay, so that's going to go there. Mm -hmm. Me thinks. Now, owls also work well with butterflies. Of course they do. And they also work really well with flowers and they also work really well with mushrooms so we may venture out and and they work well with labels they do it's just a fact of life they just go really well with with labels especially tracy labels tracy fox and what is this one i guess i'm going to put that one on there you thought I was going to put a pretty flower on there or a butterfly or something, but no, a label is going on because that is what's working well with it. Right. So, guys, I have a very big box of stuff I've been making in this 100-day project. And we probably should have a sort of go through the box and re remind ourselves of what's happened i love that oh i love those colors and that's even nice just like that you can write on there so i'm not going to do anything with that a little bit crooked uh, but i am going to make it a tag shape this one just to be different and so that one doesn't even need to be stitched it's just going to have a um a a tab put onto it. I'm going to put a whale tail on now that I don't need to hoard them anymore because I can't get the thing, but I can make them because I can't get the thing. I'd buy the thing if I could get it. That one. Or I think it's fitting that I put on a stamperia one. No, that's the wrong side, not that colour. Now you get me to have me auditioning. I'm auditioning whale tails. These were from. These came from Wendy. I like that colour. Or oh, thank God you didn't. I'll go with the acidy green. So let me just. I think I need to change my book page in a minute. So when you do this type of ephemera, if you don't faff about too much. Um, you can get quite a lot done because you've got a lovely base to work with. You only need to add a few elements and then it's done. It's done and dusted. Look at that. Love it. Love, love, love. Done. Okay, what's next? What's next? Which is, oh, this one was going to be a pocket. Yes, this will be a pocket, but we need, we might not have, well, we've got to have a little bit of a little bit of this here, maybe. Maybe put that there, but let me see if I've got an owl small enough. So I don't want to have to chop their legs off. And I do not. I wonder if that owl will fit. Very big so we'll see actually I would prefer him over here though I think so I'm going to fussy cut I really do love owls I just love them Yes, the towel is just going to come off. Well, maybe I want him on that side. There. 
And then I was thinking, just maybe, if I still have some, because I kind of emptied out this folder a little bit. I think I still have some. Oh, these might be nice. Some of my plainish doilies could be nice too. Oh, and here's this. It can be nice for the... Oh, well, that might be nice on the backing as well. Um, I thought I had some mushrooms in here, but I might not. I do. I've got a couple. Oh, yes, lots. I'll get some mushrooms out and see if I might like some sort of mushroom on there. Now, do I want to go brown or do I want to... Because you've also got to look at the size of your mushroom and see what will fit. Black and white. So these were all in the same kit with the other um, monotone owls. I don't know if I, well, I might like it. Something different. Now, I don't want to stick them too close. To, it's very bad cutting there. I don't want to stick them too close to the edge um, because... Um, I might have to trim it down depending on what journal I put them in. You know what? You need to be able to do that. So I just want to see here. I might put that there. And then I might even pull out. Let's have a look at Marguerite's lovely stamp she sent me. Thank you so much, Marguerite. Let's see, we need something that's not too small. Oh, I like that. I might put that on there or I like that colour. I even like them on there on the backing. Some of these look very old. Marguerite must have the most amazing collection of stamps because to use as many as she does in her collages means that she has Can a lot. Yes, Lulu. Okay. Means she has good. It means she has a lot of, um, I think I like that colour more. There's green. Maybe two different green ones. No, I think I like the blue. Okay, we're not going to waste any more time looking at stamps. I know you love looking at the stamps, but we're not going to look at them anymore. We're going to get gluing and move on to the next thing because, you know, this is meant to be fast. So we haven't glued anything down. Help if you start gluing, Rachel. just measure my owl and I'm going to snip off a bit of his tail. Don't freak out guys. He's just gone out of the scene, that's all. It's nothing it's not injured. Glue my little mushroom. Maybe I'll put the mushroom more over there. That would give me room for another mushroom. Do I want another mushroom? What am I doing to you? Or skinny one.
so I think I'll stick with just these yes stamp one love the color of these old stamps And there you have it. And that's going to be a little pocket. Doesn't need any stitching on it. Okay, what's next? Well, this one would have to go... That one could be a pocket, but I don't think I've got anything that will go on there. So we'll ignore that one. I do have this one. I really would feel like I want to cover all of that one up. Unless they were to make, let me just see here. Leave the mushrooms out of the way. Oh, I've got doilies. Let's just cut out a doily. See how I get distracted and procrastinate? This is how it happens. I pick something up and I'm like, oh, let's cut that out. Just whiz around these things, don't have to be perfect. So I just cut until it feels comfortable and then I snip off whatever I cut and then I'll start again because when you're cutting um, what you're cutting, like these bits can get in the way and, it, and then you start to sort of fumble a little bit. So sometimes it's good just to snip it off as you go like that. So we could have a door there. Let's just cut this one out as well. So we've got options. See, like that, just get rid of it if it's interfering. Probably should use my little scissors for this, but these are not too intricate to cut out. So that's why I'm just whizzing along with the big ones. Okay, just get the snip off a bit more. There we go. And so then I've got these lovely owls, but I don't know. Well, that one might fit. Gorgeous colours. So just staying to um yeah just staying to the left of the owl, trying not to snip any of the owl. Up sometimes, as I said, I do I do snip them. That's going to be nice. I prefer it that way. Is that a bit busy? Got a bit of fabric left over here from yesterday. I don't think I'm loving this oh it's got merry christmas on it i don't want that one I'll put that one away let's just get another one let's start again this is good those colors are nice i don't know if i want that doily maybe i don't want a doily maybe i just want some book page
Yep, I like that. So I like the owl. So I think I was thinking I might like a little piece of fabric in there. There's my other glue over here. even overhang it over the edge there and I'm going to put my owl there and I can have no no mushrooms maybe we'll see what about a flower I wonder if I've got a flower available a little bit of a mess over here to tidy up oh here's all the stuff I had pulled out yesterday but I didn't use any of it Oh, I like that. I like that. Feeling like I might like it to add a bit of colour to it. A pop of colour. I think that might be too much, that one. Yeah, I think I'll add that flower. That rather than a label. Because the label would look nice. But I'm going to add the flower. Oh. I know the gluer I am. Squeeze so, push down so hard, like it just goes everywhere. A little bit more under there. Okay, and then we'll glue the owl. I use the other that glue just because it sticks better onto the fabric. So I'll need to cover that up at the back. And I wanted to see if I wanted a little little one of these. I don't think so. Unless I'd like this little green one. So no feathers, guys. I didn't feel like doing feathers it just wasn't no I'm not putting that sorry cut that out but I'm not using it no no labels I'm going to cover the back I'm going to cover the back with a piece of this I'll glue that down there and then we'll have a piece of something else this and I'll just trim that off here yep, afterwards
and then I need to put something across there. They're not quite the right colour, those ones. Listen to the dogs. Listen to the dogs go. Howling the way they are. page on there. I like that colour. There we have it, that one's done. Okay. Move that over there. What's next? Let's just find pieces that are already, I think I like this side more, that are already cut. that off. I think I'll glue that down there to add a bit of colour. This nice big owl might be good. I don't know whether I want to keep the tree, but I'll just keep it for a second and then I can just snip it off if I don't want to keep it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll keep the tree. I like that. I still feel like it needs something else. Um, if I were to stick flowers, they'd need to be bigger, I think. Got this nice piece of paper here. I wonder if that would be nice there. mumbling sorry guys put that there nice big owl tag this one glue my owl down and then see what else we need. I just love these colours. Very natural sort of colours, aren't they? And 
let me see oh, what about one of these this one I can have one with similar colors to the owl no, I think I'll go with something colorful just drop my rubbish onto here and that way I can just tip it into my basket which is over there and has stuff in it Oh yes, I like a splash of colour. And then let me see here. on the same side as the butterfly. We'll put that there and then we need to cover the back and I was going to cover the back with this one. And I will stitch around it so I'm not being all pedantic and perfect about um, my gluing. And then we need, I think we'll have another tab. So here I might put, what a mess. I might put this tab, that one. Yeah, I think I might put just the straw paper. i just put a little bit of glue on there and then I'll be stitching around it. Okay, so there's another one done. All about the owls today. And we'll do something else. Let's have a look. I think I'm going to use on this one, one of my monotone owls. Where have they gone? Here. Not the mushrooms. Butterflies there. I love these owls as well. will I use? This one I think. And I'm not necessarily fussy cutting this one. I think I'm just going to put it on there. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty? I like that. It goes really well with that paper. So put 
that on there. How fast was that? And then, um, where did that little... So you could stick something like that there. Or have a splash of colour if you've got the right the flower going in the right direction. Quite like that one. This one. I'm going to tear a little bit more off. So I'll put that one there. I mean, this has come together in like two seconds, this tag. Or side tuck, it can be. It's still got the, the you know, the, um, what do you call that? That gluey sort of stuff that holds the pages together. I don't think. Well, let's just cut the butterfly out and have a look. Could be good. I'm still here. I've gone quiet. I always forget to use my um, scrapbooking paper. I'm going to put the butterfly there just for a little splash of colour. I always forget to use my scrapbooking paper for this sort of thing. It just sort of starts to build up and, um, and I forget about it. Okay. That there. I like that. And oh, and I can leave that as it is, I think, because um, I can certainly write on most of that. Maybe I need to put a little bit of something just on that bit there for better writing purposes. Um, not those. Let me see. What do I have floating around? <gasps> Oh, Lulu, you're so funny. She's gone to the bathroom and she's locked the door. Like, I'm making a video. Is if I'm going to get up and come into the bathroom? There's nobody else here. Just us. Okay. Right. We'll put that there. Still more of that sticky stuff on there. Just seem to get it off. There we go. I've cut it off now. So that's that. I think this won't even have a any sort of tab on it because um, I don't want to cover up my butterfly. Let me just check how it would. No, I don't want to cover up my butterfly. It would have a side tab. We go, you know, slide. If it were to slide in a um, side tuck, yes, I might put a side tab on it. it. Doesn't really need any stitching around it either, because um, it's not I like that one. It's not really covered in, on the back, only that little bit. So I like that when you don't have to do any stitching because it's just it's finished. Whereas the ones that have to be stitched, you know that you put them aside, but they're not finished yet bit like having a dishwasher you put it all in the dishwasher but you know the job's not done until it's all put away oh, I like that okay so let's see what we've made so many owls everywhere one two three four five six we'll make another one 
relax. I'm having too much fun. It's all too much fun. Okay, because we've got plenty of pieces of paper out here. All right, now we could use this one. I would cover that little bit up there. Don't like her peeking out. I chopped her head off, you see. She's peeking out at me. I don't, it's, it's, it's causing me anxiety. Yes, I like that. Stop looking at me. It's like she's looking at me. Sorry, guys. I just feel observed. Okay. So I've put that there. I don't... Well, I kind of like that. Let's just have a little look. Let's audition it. Yeah, we'll just have another level there. Why not? It's better than having the piece of paper floating around, doing nothing exciting. Okay. Now, what owl are we going to put on here? What do I have? I've got the monochrome owls, but I've also got the... I love this, these owls. So let's see which one. This one said Egyptian owl underneath. I remember that because it's got all the ruins there. We'll just do a quick whiz fussy cut around it. Oh, I think it's midday. I need to go and cook lunch. Lulu, yeah. could I ask you, could you um, fill up the kettle, please, and boil the water? Okay. What do you need it for? I'm going to make um, risotto today. Oh, Ooh, okay. isn't that pretty? I like that. Nice. Do I want it to be a tag, like trim off a bit, or will I... Maybe it'll be a side tuck or a flip out or something. Maybe it could be a flip out. That might be good. So I'll put that there. And then I need to see, do I want anything else? Any, maybe a garden of flowers. What, Lulu? Oh, are you all right? Yeah, it wasn't that hot. Yeah, I think I like that one. Okay. So what time did I start my video? Does that mean I've been here more than an hour? I have no idea. I've been having too much fun. For me, the time has flown. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's been very fast. So I do love the subject matter. Owls, I, I just love them. Love, love, love them. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, and then, thank you, Lulu. No problem. I'm making risotto. Did I tell yeah. you that? What? Did I tell you that? Yeah. Are you jumping for joy? I asked you why you were boiling the water. Well, we've had so much, you know, fruity sort yeah, of things I had it and even stuff. For I think I think you need to have something a bit more solid. Yeah. I'm glad you agree because that's what you're getting. Well, I have food for breakfast as well. Yeah. Now, I think that one blends in too much after all of that. And I might need that one. Or do I need this one? That one? Or what about, I forgot about the stamps. Maybe we'd like a stamp now that I've got all these stamps. I mean, not that I didn't have stamps before. We know that I've got plenty of stamps, but... Oh, no, that one's double. Now, why can't I separate that? There we go. Oh, it's two together. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put that there. Thank you, Marguerite. Every time I use these, I'm going to say, thank you, Marguerite. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't forget about the stamps, guys. I forget about them. And they really are wonderful. There we go. Love that. Don't need to do anything on the back. Cool. And I'm going to add a piece of fabric down there. I've got a piece of fabric right here. So that's going to go there. So let's rip that. I'll put a bit of glue there. And that can be stitched afterwards. It's always handy to have bits and pieces of fabric floating around. See, I wouldn't throw that out. That, that can become a tab. Now let's get some glue on here. And then I think I better um, sign off. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been here for. We've been here for more than an hour. That would be a bit of a shock horror for everybody. I've got things to do. And that will be zigzag down there. And then that can attach to a page and it can flip out. And you can round the corners if you want to. So let's recap what I've done. Literally, I, could, I'm gonna, I might even sit and do some more. Um, so there's this one. It's going to be a flip. This is, this is, this, uh, well, no, I don't want to cover that up. So no, this will not become a flip unless I were to stick, use clear sticky tape or something. Um, that's just a tag. That's a journaling card or tag, whatever you want to call it. This is a pocket with crooked stamps. Um, this is a tag. Uh, this is a tag or journaling card. Actually, this one needs, I think I'll put a whale tail on this one. No, sorry, I didn't see that I hadn't finished that one. Too blendy. Well, I'll find one afterwards. I don't want to keep you here all day looking for one. No, I'll have to find one afterwards. So yes, that needs something up there. And then there's that one as well. A lot of fun. So thank you for that prompt. Oh, I didn't say who told me that prompt. Did I say that? Oh, well, I'll write it in the description box. I can't find my little book under... Oh, here it is. Under my mess. Now, who asked me for this one? I Oh, Tammy. I think it was Tammy. It was Tammy. It was definitely Tammy. But I'll double check. Boy, has this book been useful. Um, Tammy, yes. Tammy. Um, owls and feathers. Well, the owls have feathers. Okay, so that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Very simple, but a good way to stash... Get rid of your stash if you've got too many pieces of scrapbooking paper or cardstock or of any shape or form. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.